I've been running from the pain, trying not to feel the same, but it's a shame that we ain't sick and see my confidence is shaking and my heart is feeling vacant, so you try to fill it in. You said I could fix the broken in your heart, you would say them, darling. But I don't know why you shouldn't. Nama saya uh, Ampo Al-Ask Bruce Lee, uh, CEO ISEP 16. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Ahmad Anwaruddin bin Shahlan with metric number 11N0292. Today I will describe on how I get the news that I have met before for the subject principle of journalism. In other words, it called as news gathering process. Before we move deeper, I just want to mention again the title of my news is Asep 16 Usim Bakal Cita Sejarah where in English We call as ASEP 16, making a history. There was some reason I chose the title to make my news headline. I found out there were some newsworthiness that make me choose it. First of all, you know what the ASEP is? ASEP stand for Islamic Convention of Entrepreneurship. Uh, for now, with that name, it only held in Usim. And for this session. It was the 16. Normally, ASEP were held for the face to face. There were concerts, stalls, and even lot of competition would be held before the closing for each session. And you know, ASEP 16 were different than before. The only ASEP that were held fully online. ISEP it usually performed by final year student from Faculty of Economic and Muamalat known as FEM. Hadirin yang dikasihi sekalian, seperti yang kita sedia maklum, ISEP 16 merupakan sebuah projek tahun akhir pelajar tahun 4 di Faculty Ekonomi dan Muamalat USIM di mana kami bersama-sama menggembleng tenaga bagi mempraktikkan ilmu keusahawanan dan perniagaan yang dipelajari selama ini. Like that, there were some points related to news worthiness. Firstly, the frequency of the news was perfectly happened for this session. It happened in the pandemic situation, which we known as uh, COVID-19 pandemic. It never happened before just like the 16 and the only and the first to make history had fully online. So, jadi ini adalah kali pertama ISEP dibuat uh, sepenuhnya secara virtual lah secara online. Next, it was meaningfulness and at the same time it showed the unexpectedness even they faced the hard situation to fulfill their event they successfully through it. And From these experiences, the future ISEP can learn from them. To get the information toward that event, I made an online conversation to those related. Firstly, I found out who is the highest person that led the ISEP 16, and I'm done some conversation to my friend who was in four years of FKP, and. She was a part of High Council in uh, organization of ISEP 16, and her name is Siti Soleha. She was performed as Deputy Chief Marketing Officer. From my conversation, she told me some information toward what happened in ISEP 16, and recommend me to interview the the leader, which is the CEO of the ISEP 16. His name is Amru Al As, and just after I got his contact number, I asked him to spare time for me to interview with him, and we fi- finally finished the interview by using Microsoft Teams. For the additional information, Amru told me to ask their coordinator, which performed by uh, Dr. Muhammad Azrin Nazri and Dr. Nurul Nazliyah Jamil.
As usual, I will be introduce myself to the coordinator and ask them for uh, spend some time with the interview. But unfortunately, both of them rejected to perform the interview online because they were too busy to attend the interview at that time. So, I just personally message them the question that related to my news angle. From that, I got four sources. By the way, not all of their words have been added to my news story. I need to choose and filter some of their words to fulfill my angle, which more related to I said uh, making a history. In my news story, I'm also asked some question to answer the five W's and one H. By that, it look more neutral and do not leave any questionnaire to the reader of my news. I think that's all how I get the news. Thank you for listening. I kata dengan lafaz yang mulia, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Saya merasmikan majlis penutup Convention Kewisawanan Islam kali ke-16. Sekian, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.